everybody. Welcome to Kitchen ABCs. I'm Chef Cheryl and today we're going to make biscuits and butter. Now before we get started cooking there's a few things that you should do. First of all, have you washed your hands yet? It's very important to do that when you work with food. Now a rule we have at the museum is in the kitchen we always walk. And just in case you're carrying something, we have to be safe all the time. So make sure you're walking in your kitchen. And another thing we do is we listen to directions. It's really important when, that you follow the recipe. And so you need to put your listening ears on. So everybody, can you put your listening ears on? Oh, good. Okay, and then the last thing that we need to do is clean up our mess when we're done. Okay, we have a special friend today. We have Princess Lily. Hi, Chef Cheryl. Thank you for having me. Hello, everyone. So Princess Lily is here to help us with our cooking. Now, we're going to make some homemade butter. Have you ever wondered where butter came from? At the store, you can just buy sticks of butter or a tub of butter, but a long time ago, they had to come up with their own butter. So, they used the cow. So, they milked the cow, and then they would let it sit for a while. And do you know that cream rises to the top? Oh. Because it's less dense than the milk underneath. So, then they would take the cream and put it in a butter churn and the butter churn, the kids in the family would have to churn the butter. Um, it was a lot of hard work, it took a long time, but we're gonna make it a little easier because we don't need Princess Lily to churn the butter. She's just gonna be doing a little bit of shaking. So if you get a little container that has a tight lid, and if you have some heavy whipping cream, you can make butter. So I'm putting about a fourth of a cup into this little container, tight lid, and then we're gonna shake. Princess Lily, would you like to shake the butter? I would love to shake up the butter. Right. Is it just like this? Yes, exactly. Oh. We let it sit out for a couple of hours, so it's kind of room temperature. And eventually it's going to turn to whipping cream. Ooh, I like whipping cream. Yes. If you would like to go and sit down for a while and do that. Absolutely. Okay, we'll call you over when it's whipping cream and then it will turn into butter after that. So now we're gonna get started with our biscuits. So the first thing you need is two cups of flour. Now last week we talked about how you measure flour. So build it up and then we'll push it all off and put it in here. There's one cup and then fill it up again and two cups. Okay, one plus one is two. You're going to get lots of math in when you do some baking. The next thing you need is baking powder. So we're going to overfill it. And then there is a little area to scrape it off. And then we'll put it right in here. Baking powder will help it rise. Now the next thing you need is salt. Now use this. Overfill it. Now I have a half teaspoon, but I need a teaspoon and a half. So do you know how many half teaspoons are in a one teaspoon? That's right, two. So we're going to do one. That makes one teaspoon. And then we still need a half teaspoon. Sure. There we go. Just 
like that. So now we're going to use our whisk. If you don't have a whisk, you can use a fork and just kind of get it all mixed up. Spread that all out. Okay. Princess Lily, how is the butter going? I think we went to the whipped cream, to the whipped cream stage. Would you be able to check for me? like whipped cream. Mmm. Now if you added a little sugar to it and you put it on a dessert, it would be so delicious. But we're making butter, so we're not going to add sugar right now. Now, can you, Princess Lily, go shake some more? So, did you feel anything when it was shaking? Yeah, it felt like it was getting thicker. It felt almost heavier. It was like a sloshing sort of thing. Okay. Well, when you get where it's sloshing in a bump, then it turned to butter because the fat separated from the buttermilk, okay? All so right. You can go sit down and do that again. I'd be happy to. Okay. Okay, we have our dry ingredients, and now we're going to add our butter. You'll need one stick of butter. And I left it in the refrigerator until we were ready for it because you don't want it to be all melty before it goes into the oven. So you can use a table knife, something that will easily cut. Just kind of get it into cubes. Like so. Okay, put that in. Now we're going to use a really cool utensil. This is a pastry blender. Now it has little edges here that will help mix it up in to our flour. So what you do is you push down and twist. Push down and twist and you keep doing that until our butter is no bigger than the size of a pea. Now you can use a spatula to push it in like that and then keep going for a little while. If you don't have a if you don't have a pastry blender you can use a fork and do the same thing. Sometimes baking is messy, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to use my pastry blender. Have any of you made pies before? It's almost the day when we make lots of pies for Thanksgiving. Your biscuits would be really good for Thanksgiving. I'm going to keep going just like that. Just kind of look through and see if you have any more big pieces of butter in there. If not, you're good. I'm going to look at that. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to add our cup of milk. And you want it to be cold, so keep it in the refrigerator till you're ready. just so it comes together and you don't see any dry flour. Here we go. 
Now you're, we're going to make about nine biscuits from this. So if you have a spoon, you can use a spoon. I have a scoop here. So scoop it into an ungreased baking sheet. Now these are called drop biscuits. I wonder why? Do you have any ideas? Just kind of overfill it, put them on there. Okay, what are we doing to them? We're dropping them onto our baking sheet. Now some people make biscuits and roll them out and cut out circles. So those are a lot of the biscuits that you see, but this is a different kind. It's called drop biscuit. Okay, if you want to make small that you just won't be able to bake them as long. You have to watch them a little more closely. Push them in a little bit. Boy, I'm messy today. Just add a little bit to that one. Kind of push them together. If your hands are nice and clean, we're going to put them in a 400 hundred degree oven and bake them for about 16 minutes. I will set my timer and they'll be done. Now, you don't wanna wait 16 more minutes, so I'm going to take the ones I just you can do is you can save the buttermilk for baking your next biscuits. You can add that instead of the milk. And what I'm going to do is take some cold water. I'll be right over here and rinse it out a little bit. So you want to rinse the rest of the buttermilk off of it. Just like that. And then you're going to use a paper towel to sop up the rest of the liquid. Just like that. Okay. And we'll put it on a plate. with a biscuit. If you wanted honey, you could add some honey to it. Would you like a biscuit? Oh, I would love a biscuit, Chef Cheryl. Well, 
Oh, that smells delicious. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Princess Lily. It was my pleasure. And thank you all for coming to Kitchen ABCs.